Okay, we'll take questions for Coach Sermon. Hey, football weather, right? Rain, and <laughs> guys are excited to be out here still, right? It is. I mean, it's uh, it's a Saturday in spring, so uh, the weather's been unbelievable lately, so it's uh, actually kind of fun for the guys to get a little change of pace, and uh, we had a real good energy today, which was good to see. I know Trey Pastor was getting some reps at safety, so he's pretty settled at that position, or is it still a work in progress? You know, only you know three practices in, we're going to be moving some guys around, uh, you know, with Cam, uh, Josh Drayden, and uh, Elijah. we got a lot of experience back there, so... Uh, some of the new guys, we're going to uh, bump them around, see how much they can handle, and you know, get a uh, good feel for what they can do physically. Uh, we got word of the chains with uh, you and Coach Derrida on Wednesday. Mm -hmm. did, what went into that decision, kind of from your end? Uh, you know, from my end, it's really you know, it's the um, you know, I think it's something Tim and Justin, but uh, nothing's really going to change. You know, we have. Now with uh, Marcel, we have four uh, different defensive coordinators on the staff, so uh, it's uh, we're doing our best to, to collaborate like we have, you know, I think since uh, since Justin's been here with Tim, so uh, we're just continuing to move forward and you know, get as, as as good as we can with the guys that we have, and, and uh, we have a great staff. Yeah. How, how intellectual is that defensive staff? Because you mentioned four defensive coordinators. Deruder, also Deruder was a former coach. Mm -hmm. He hates you as well. It's like it's a it's a very brilliant group, right? Yeah, it's uh, we're very fortunate. You know, to have that uh, um, many different perspectives of uh, calling a game and, and putting together and installing some defenses. So, uh, like I said, it's a great room. Uh, people enjoy working for Coach Wilcox, and, and uh, we're fortunate. Are there any new twists that Coach Yates has brought in that you can that's been added to the mix that you can see? Well, it's, it's going to be more in the in the meeting room with how the you know some of the technique and some of the uh, the, the teaching points to it. Uh, you know, Gerald did a great job when he was here, and, and uh, the guys are excited to, to build on what they've done with Gerald and, and uh, really pick Coach Yates's brain and, and see what uh, Marcel can bring to, to help them get better. You have a lot of young linebackers that are seeing time, some moving around in different positions. What's kind of standing out to you about those young guys? Uh, the way they're playing uh, in terms of effort. Um, you know, we're trying to uh, feed them crumbs. You know, we don't give them everything at once. Uh, it's alignment, it's eye control. Um, and then from there, once they master that, then we give them some more of the technique and, and start open up the playbook a little bit. But uh, what we're looking for at the linebacker position is, uh, do they give great effort? You know, can they naturally find the ball? And then as they mature, you know, what's their capacity for communication? And guys on the outside like Oren and uh, Curley have gotten bigger and have filled out and seeing them line up on the edge. Can they present a real threat there? They uh, they both have some uh, some twitch. You know, they both can do some things off the edge. And uh, you know what you expect in the, in the program with Coach Becton is those guys continue to develop physically, get stronger, um, and then with the experience, the strength. Obviously, the strength development shows up is obvious, but it's the it's the confidence that you can't see that that lets them use you know more of the skills and more of the talent that they had when we recruited them. That's good. Thank you. Um, with uh, you had to fight like hell to keep ISF. Uh, but you got him here now. Uh, what has he shown you early in these first three days of practice? Uh, he's done a really good job of, of handling the install. Um, he's a, he's mature uh, for being a, a mid-year, and uh, football is important to him. As he's, he's serious about learning. So uh, in my experience, if uh, those young guys have maturity and they're serious about football, they, they catch things on uh, really quickly. And, and uh, he has some talent, so we'll see what he can do. And it looks like he has been kind of force feeding reps to Tattersall after he hasn't maybe taken as many with the first team in these past couple of years. How is he adjusting? And he's one of those guys that's put on some weight as well. Yeah, you know, Tat's ready. This is his opportunity to really show, uh, you know, what he's been doing for the last two years, you know, learning from Jordan and uh, Evan. So I'm excited for the next uh, next 12 and, and uh, to get Tat in some live situations and, and watch him uh, you know, use some of that experience. How many Pat? guys would you say are in competition for that spot? For the uh, linebacker spot, for the weird spot, everybody. You know, when when a guy like that uh, moves on, you know, I think it's uh, we're going to look to everybody in the room. Um, you know, we we play two inside linebackers, and the in the Mike and the Will position are really interchangeable. So we're trying to find the uh, the best two, and if they end up swapping positions or moving around a little bit, then that's how it'll play out. With going out for the spring, are those young guys taking advantage inside of the, the reps that they're getting? Well, they're getting a lot of reps, so uh, it's up to them to take advantage of them. But uh, the, the amount and the volume of work they're going to get is going to be uh, you know, really valuable. All right. Okay. Thanks, guys. All right. Okay. All right.